of the B team. Let me deal with this. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch. Deal with this little nuisance here real quick. Okay. Alright. Put these lungs away. So what I need to do right now is I need to get started with my food farms. Um, in order to do that, you know what? I, I wasn't going to make a scythe, but now I think I will. Okay, this is not going to stay like this. This is actually going to be covered over with dirt and other stuff eventually to make it look like part of the mountainside. But this is my smeltery room. Mr. Uh, Mr. Waddlington is around here somewhere. Where did he go? This is, yes, I know this is not how you smeltery, but this is how you keep your brainless little testificate villagers out of the smeltery so that they do not smelt themselves and die. So yeah, this, this is an unfinished room down here. Anywho, um, I'm gonna make a scythe. I've never made a scythe before. So how do I how do I scythe? I need a scythe blade, a tough binding, and two tough tool rods. All right, I think we can handle that. Um, however, comma, I am going to need patterns for this. I, I think I already have patterns for that stuff, don't I? I do. So I'm just gonna need to do that. Oh, I don't have patterns for the scythe blade yet. Okay, that's all right. I can make that happen. I got me a mattock. But for this, for all that, all that grass mowing I'm going to have to do down there, I think I'd rather use a scythe. And like I said, I've never made one before. I'll give it a try. Uh, scythe blade, where are you? There you are. Okay, let's uh, make a cheap one. Put it in there. Make a little crappy one. Wow! Takes eight pieces of material. Okay, well. I'm just gonna make wooden tough rods, I think. Um, I don't think I have enough wood on me to make wooden tough rods. Okay, that's alright. That's fine. Do I have a tough ride pattern by any chance? I bet I don't. Or cast. No, I don't. Okay. Let's get the gold. Let's hum the gold in here. Somehow I have blood in the smeltery again. I don't know what could have crawled in there and died. But let me just uh, let me just get it out of there. Let's just make it disappear. Mm, boy. Can I... Ew. Blah. A health boost. Okay. Apparently it's good for me. <laughs> like a black pudding or something? I don't know. Oh, it's thoroughly cooked. It's been in the smeltery, so... You know, whatever. What the hell is my cat doing? Oh, she's in her carrier plan. Okay. Yeah, she wants to play in there, but... Try to put her in there to go with the vat? Oh, no sir, no ma'am. It is a federal issue. Okay. So I've got nine ingots. I'm... Alright. There's my scythe head. And yeah, I'll just make... I'll make iron. Iron tough rods. Why not? Why not? Let's just do the thing. Alright. So let's get the iron back on top. I need two of them. Oh, and the tough binding. Almost forgot the tough binding. I guess I'm going to need more stuff. Excuse me, Mr. Wadlington, I need to uh, get in here. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, palm wood ought to do it. Don't you think? Yeah. I know I got a pattern for that. I do. Okay. Tough pattern. Yeah. Palm wood works fine. I'll just leave it there. Okay, so two tool rods. Let me just throw this tough pattern down. No, that, that, that needs gold, Sarah. No, no, put it back. There. Jeez. <laughs> that away. Put that back. No, put it back. Put it back. Just throw that away. 
Oh goody, it's raining. And finally, the scythe head. Just put that away. I still got two moss balls. Good. Okay. Let's do the thing. Alright. Get rid of that. Eh, that didn't work. Okay. It's fine. A scythe. And go ahead and throw a moss ball on it. That doesn't go there. That goes there. Okay. Oh, goody. We have a thunderstorm. Okay, I'm just gonna... That, that's, that's the head. That's the scythe. Okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. Okay, let's just use the Recorator here. So I found out something disturbing in Resonant Rise, and I'm not sure if it holds true here, here as well. But I'm not going to take a chance on it. Um, apparently if you die, you lose your genetic abilities. Uh, like I said, I don't know if that applies in Attack of the Bee Team. But I have taken no chances. Oh, snap. I have a backup syringe full of my blood chilling at the house. It's actually in the centrifuge waiting for me to finish the walk the swim and lava gene. But um, if stuff goes pear-shaped, I can go just shoot myself back up with my blood and get all my abilities back. Okay, are there any more creepers around here? All right. So let's just... Oh, that's that's nice. Lightning is not so nice. But yeah, this, this works well for mowing the grass. So I can get a better look at what needs filled in and what really doesn't. Look at all those seeds. Good grief. Okay, I can throw that away. Um, consolidate them sticks. I'll throw that away for now. Um, I'll throw that away. Oh, I've got those uh, hedges that I need to do something with. What kind of a hat do you have on, sir? I think I would like it. It looks cool. I want it. Ouch. Blame the community. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back inside for now away some of these seeds. That's the other reason I was using the scythe, so I could get seeds to plant once I get the farms going. The rice away. Oops, uh, those I need to take up to the, the kitchen. Okay. This, goodbye. Alright, up we go. This is the first floor. This is the second floor. So I finished the the feast hall more or less. I'm gonna I still need to put one more carpet there on the table. Some more plates down and stuff. I've got the uh, the bibliocraft chairs that you can sit in properly. Oh yeah. There's me and my me and my brain waiting for dinner. Yeah, okay. I've got a uh, little sideboard here, little cabinets. The drink mixer and a drink paraphernalia will go in here. I've got the crayfish oven and range hood and all this stuff. I've got the crayfish fridge, which requires like some cooling packs, I believe. Uh, dishes and stuff go in here. Do I have any rotten flesh? I do. I'll just um, put that up to dry. Oh, good. I got some more charcoal. Put that there. Put that there. Let's see. And this is all dishes and supplies and things I put in here. Nether wart, brewing stuff. I've got lockers in here that I'm using for my fruits and veggies and other foods. So yeah, that is the kitchen so far. 
And let's see. Ooh, excuse me. Let's see what I got, what I got, what I got. I don't need arrows. At least not right now. So I will put them away. Um, I'll put the gunpowder away. Put the bone away. Put the ball, put the moss ball away. Put that away. Okay. Sir, I've got a whole mess of dirt here. Actually, I could be bad and just stop the rain. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is go to bed. And go sleep. And at least get the sun out. There we go. Maybe the rain will stop soon. Hey, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to dive bomb this spider here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, hi guys. Oh, this is a great chance to test this out. Hey guys. Ooh. Oh, I like it. Mama like. Alright. I do like the waterfall sound effects. Those are nice. Okay. So yeah, this this is giving me a clear Hello. Haha. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, this is giving me a little clearer view of what I need to fill in. So, here we go. Let's just start over here. And just go and go and go and go. I'm also kind of leveling off uh, another peak over there. You can't see it from here. Oop. Oop. Give me some coffee. And I can't wait to make some coffee. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can eat grass. Totally forgot about that. Mmm, boy. Cellulose. Delicious. You do not get much more back to nature than grass. Have you ever tried a wheatgrass shot? I have not. I have not tried a proper wheatgrass shot. My mom says they taste like death. <laughs> so they must be good for you, right? I have had some juice that has wheatgrass in it. Wheatgrass juice in. And it's got, you know, kale and st other stuff. And it was actually pretty good. So, you know, I guess as long as it's with something, it's tolerable. I've never, like I said, I've not tried it by itself. I might change my tune. But, yeah. It actually, it, it's pretty good. It's good stuff. It's healthy. I guess, I don't know, can you drink wheatgrass juice if you have a gluten intolerance? I, I don't even know how that works. Science side of YouTube, but can you weigh in on that for me? Oh yeah. This will be handy for harvesting too. Okay. My little artificial waterfall. Alright, let's take another look here. Yeah, let's fill this in a little more. Let's let's do the thing. Let's just do the thing. Am I out of dirt? I'm out of dirt. Okay. Well, oops. Before I go planting stuff, I need to uh, lose these shrubs. And I need to do that by... I've added a little bit of wood to the castle. I think I'm going to add some more just to kind of warm it up a little bit. There we go. Add some shrubs. Oh yeah, those are pretty. Okay. Make it come out even, more or less. Okay, that, that looks cool. I like it. 
All right, I need more dirt. I need more dirt. Man, I wish X Nilo was a thing in this pack so I could just make dirt, but that's okay. I'll be able to do that soon enough if I um, do the Mine Factory Reloaded Harvester and farm and stuff, which I'm not sure I will, but eh. Eh. okay. So now that I, since I need dirt, let's just go up here to where I was leveling this bit off. And we will get more dirt. Straight from nature. Good, natural, high quality, 100% natural dirt. Let's just scrape this all down. Get some of my torches back. I don't know what I'm going to build over here yet. Probably another tower of some sort. Possibly the witchery tower. The witchery, witchy annex. So I am, I am just really having fun with this construction here right now. It's, it's been a while since I've done a mega build like this. I, th yeah, this for me is a mega build. I usually do small builds. This has been a lot of fun. Okay, so I got a stack and most of another. That's good. That'll get me going. And I want to build out to this hill as well and do some kind of sky bridgey thing there. So I'm just gonna wee just swan dive down here. Swan dive into the best farm of your life. Alright, everybody move. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Or that. That's alright. I can fix it. It's just dirt. Just kick some more over it. It's fine. It'll be good. It'll be okay. Okay. Um, more? Yeah, and actually possibly flatten this out too. Okay, now what to do about this oil? I'm going to have to do something about this oil. It can't stay here. What I need to do is pump it out and store it in some tanks or something for future rocket fuel refinering. Refinery. Refinering. What a word. It's totally a word. I say it's a word. All right. I think what I might actually do. Whoops. Is start planting the stuff first and then just kind of build the greenhouse around it. I think that's what I might do. At least just, you know, so I can start getting some food going here. So I don't have to run back to the old place every time I want to have a baked potato or something. That's terribly inconvenient. Whoa. Hello. Alright. There we go. Come on. There you go, dirt. Okay. Yeah, I do kind of wish hunger overhaul was a thing, but that's okay. I think I'm mostly going to grow melons and um, pumpkins for the seeds so that I may turn them into biofuel and run everything off of pumpkins and melons. Pumpkin powered living. Yeah. That's, that's going to be a thing. Alright. So let's make this tree go away. No, no that's, that's the wrong thing. The scythe makes leaves go away faster, though. That's good to know. Let's throw that dirt back in... No, no, let's not throw that dirt back in there, because that dirt's going to need to go somewhere else. 
Okay. I'm gonna go... Should I go sleep? Nah, I'll just chop. I will just, uh... Just level. We'll kind of make the farms pretty. I, I'm, I may or may not put an actual greenhouse on them. But we'll make it pretty. I might do it like I do in agrarian skies and have trees and hide the water blocks under the trees and that way I can have crops around the trees except for of course the pumpkins and melons. I might actually just grow the pumpkins and the melons inside. Just grow them in the basement or something. That might work. Hi. Hi. Oh, we're going to have a shootout, are we? There we go. Problem solved. Uh, and then here come these guys. Oh, man, too bad I don't have any golden apples. Are you going to bring me the arrows? I, don't, I really don't need those. But I'll take them anyway. No. Actually, hey, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Help me out. Come here. Come here. Come up here. Up here. Up here. Up here. There we go. There we go. Hey. That made my life a lot easier. Thank you so much, Mr. Creeper. That is very helpful. Let me just see how, how helpful it was. Did that blow up to the level that I want? It did. It sure did. It sure did. Well then. I'll just uh, keep scraping here. And chopping and scraping and chopping. Okay. Hey, buddy. Yes, I've renamed my sword. It has now been officially christened the Recorator. Because that's what it does. It recorates. <laughs> it recoriferates. Rec yes. That is what it does. Okay, I gotta get rid of something. Water our chark seeds can go. Arrows can go. Alright, come here, dirt. Okay, almost done. And then I'm gonna call it a day. Once I get down here. What do you want, buddy? He's rolling around in front of the door being goofy. So let me tell you what this, this little darling did to me last night. I sit down at the computer with a big glass of ice water. And I go to take a drink of the ice water. And the little darling Cyclops jumps up in my lap and just shoves his head right up under the cup as I'm taking a drink. Guess where the water goes? It goes all over me. It does. And then he looks at me like, Man, why you spill water all over yourself? Because you made me do it, darling. You did this to me. This is your fault. Okay. I've got to lose something here. Um, one snowbell seed. I'll get rid of it. Let's pick up as much of this dirt as I can. Hi, buddy. Hi. I like your hat. It's very nice. Baby turtle. That's so cute. Okay, well, I now have no shortage of dirt. Um, what else can I lose? Sticks? Yeah, sticks can go away. I'll take this cobble. Okay, let me get a peek from up here. Okay, this is good. This is a good start. So I'm going to head back up into the house, and we'll call it a day, and I will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye. One egg for you. And egg for you.